So I reviewed the 2019 Shield a couple days ago, and uh, one of the biggest questions that I received was about the remote and a dedicated Netflix button. So a lot of people are trying to find out if we can go ahead and change that button to something that's more useful. So in this video, we're gonna attempt to see if we can go ahead and get that switched over, get a program for Plex, and check out some additional options within the button mapper applications. Let's go ahead and jump into it. <laughs> So of course, if you guys are new, please hit the subscribe button in the top right, hit the notification bell. If you have any questions or comments, drop them in the comment section below. So starting off, let's go to the Google Play Store. So the app we're looking for is called Button Mapper. So we can probably search that with the voice function. Button Mapper. All right, so it should be this one right here by Flare 2. Go ahead and install. Let's go ahead and open it. All right, so you will see this pop up. So button mappers accessibility services used to detect buttons when they're pressed on your device so that it can be remapped. All right, click OK. Let's go over to our device and see, um, see if there's an additional option that we need to check. Accessibility. All right, so there it is right there. So under accessibility, there's a button mapper um, and that's turned off. So let's go ahead and switch that on guys. All right, click okay. And here we are in the application. All right, so we're gonna add buttons and now we're just gonna press the button that we wanna add. In this case, it's gonna be the Netflix button. So click on the Netflix button. There it is, button underscore 12, 199, whatever that means. If you guys accidentally press the wrong button like I did, you're gonna go down and just click to the right and you can remove it. So let's highlight everything. We're gonna click on it again. And now we're gonna turn on customize. All right, so you can see below you have three options. So you can single tap, double tap, and long press. So what I'm gonna do for this because I know it does have Netflix written on it, I'm gonna leave the Netflix button as a single tap. For the double tap, I'm going to put it to Plex. And for the long press, I'm going to map it to YouTube. So let's do that. So right now it's on applications, but if you hit the drop down, you can have it do actions, shortcuts, system menus, uh, media, advanced. So you do have a couple different options there. So for this one, we're going to go for the single tap. We're going to set it to Netflix. For double tap, we're going to set it to Plex. And for the long press, let's make it open uh, YouTube. All right, so you do have the option um, vibration disabled or turned on. I'm just going to leave that off. All right. And uh, let's go home and test it out. So here we are, guys. Buttons are mapped. So let's go ahead and check it out. So first, we're just going to hit the button once. I should open Netflix as it does. All right, let's go back home. Now we're gonna do a double tap. All right, open Plex as it should. All right, let's go back home. And last but not least, long press should open YouTube. And there we go. So hopefully this answers your questions, guys, about remapping any button on your NVIDIA Shield. So if you guys have any additional questions, drop it in the comment section below. As always, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And I'll catch you on the next one.